the great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus, In me ye might have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. The Song of Moses and the Lamb. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Exodus 15 verse 2. From the most terrible peril one night had brought complete deliverance. That vast, helpless throng, bondmen, unused to battle, women, children and cattle, with the sea before them and the mighty armies of Egypt pressing behind, had seen their path opened through the waters and their enemies overwhelmed in the moment of expected triumph. Jehovah alone had brought them deliverance and to him their hearts was turned in gratitude and faith. Their emotion found utterance in songs of praise. The Spirit of God rested upon Moses and he led the people in a triumphant anthem of thanksgiving, the earliest and one of the most sublime that are known to man. The song does not belong to the Jewish people alone. It points forward to the destruction of all the foes of righteousness and the final victory of the Israel of God. The prophet of Patmos beholds the white robe multitude that have gotten the victory, standing on the sea of glass mingled with fire, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Revelation 15 verses 2 and 3. In freeing our souls from the bondage of sin, God has wrought for us a deliverance greater than that of the Hebrews at the Red Sea. Like the Hebrews' hosts, we should praise the Lord with heart and soul and voice for his wonderful works to the children of men. Those who dwell upon God's great mercies and are not unmindful of his lesser gifts will put on the girdle of gladness and make melody in their hearts to the Lord. The daily blessings that we receive from the hand of God, and above all else, the death of Jesus to bring happiness and heaven within our reach, should be a theme for constant gratitude. All the inhabitants of heaven unite in praising God. Let us learn the song of the angels now, that we may sing it when we join their shining ranks.